I'm working with a new project named My Application. To follow along, you can either create a new project like I did or work with any other Android project. All of Android Studio's tool windows can be moved around the screen and undocked from the user interface. To do this, go to a window. I'll use the To Do window as my example and click the gear icon in the top right corner. Then uncheck the option Docked Mode. Then go back again to the menu and choose Floating Mode. And now you can move the window around the screen and you can resize it. If you're working on a system with multiple monitors, you can drag this now to a different monitor. To put it back again, go back to the menu and uncheck Floating Mode. And then click the icon again and choose Docked Mode. And it'll both be back where you want it to, and the tab will show up down here. You can move the tabs for various windows around the screen, too. To do that, right-click on the tab and choose Move To, and then choose one of the other borders. I'll move the To Do tab to the right side of my screen, and both the window and the tab move, and then I'll do the same operation again, and this time I'll move it to the top. And I see that when I click the tab to collapse that window, the tab still appears at the top. So you might prefer, for example, to have all the tabs that you usually use appear at the top. And you can do that either by right-clicking and moving it as I showed, or by simply clicking and dragging. When you've opened a window, you can collapse or hide it by clicking the Hide icon in the top right corner. To restore your layout, go to the menu and choose Restore Default Layout, or press the associated keyboard shortcut. Once you've set up Android Studio the way you like it, you can go to the menu again and choose Store Current Layout as Default. Then, whenever you press that keyboard shortcut to restore the default layout, that's the layout you'll move to.